Shalawan, brothers and sisters. This is Outer Kadash from One Nation, One Power. And I'm giving all honor and praises to the Most High God, the great I am that I am, written in the Exodus chapter 3, verse 13 through 14. And his son, who people call Jesus Christ, which his name is Yeshaya in the Hebrew, and to the Ruach Kadash, which is the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. And I'm coming to you with another lesson, another breakdown. It's going to be on the law of the gospel and also to the LDS church to repent for their wickedness. I'm going to get straight into it. Get your seal portion out. Your seal portion out. This is the seal portion right here. Let me get a script, a scripture reference to show you guys in the Bible that this book is real. Let's go to Daniel 12 and verse 4. Daniel 12 and verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, the what? The words. And seal the book, the seal portion. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And what I'm going to bring to you is knowledge, which is increasing, brothers and sisters. This is the sealed book that Daniel was told to seal up. Now, we're going to break our sealed portion down according to Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9 and 10. For precept must be upon precept. The line must be upon line. Here a little and there a little. Let's get straight into it, brothers and sisters. Let's go to seal portion, chapter 18, and let's start at verse 18. And it reads, But I will continue with the words of Adam as he taught his posterity the law of the gospel, as it has been given unto him by the Lord. And after he was banished from the Garden of Eden, and this law was given unto him as a prototype of the laws that govern all the glories of the kingdom of God. You got three glories. You got celestial, uh, telestial, and terrestrial. And it is this law that teacheth a man and a woman the matter in which they must live to maintain peace and harmony one with another. This teaches you to have peace and harmony one with another. Let's continue. Verse 19. And it is this law that a spirit must be willing to to abide, willing and abide, <clears throat> not abide. <clears throat> Let me read that again. And this is the law that a spirit must be willing and able to abide in order for it to be allowed to live forever in one of the glories in the kingdom of God. And if a spirit cannot abide by the law of the gospel, it shall not be allowed to enter the kingdom of God. You are not allowed to enter the kingdom of God. Let's see what the law of the gospel is. Let's precept this. Seal portion 19 and verse number five. This is the law of the gospel. 
still portion 19 and verse 5. <clears throat> and this is the law on which all other commandments are based that was given unto us by the Lord. This is Adam talking. Even that you should do unto others what you would have them do unto you. There, that's, that's the law of the gospel. Even that you should do unto others what you would have them do unto you. Let's go back. Still portion 18 and verse number 20. For if a spirit is one that would create problems with another, with others in the, in the world in which it is placed forever, then there would be problems among those who reside in this world forever. But there are no problems in the kingdom of God. Thank you, Father. And those who reside therein do not have the capacity to cause these problems. Having overcome this posterity during the days of their probation. Let's continue. Verse 21. So there's no problems in the kingdom of God. This is why it's very important during, you, the, during the days of your probation to love one another, to do unto others what you would have them do unto you. Verse 21. Therefore, the law of the gospel is the most important law that the children of men can learn during the days of their probation. Highlight that. And it was this law that Jesus taught unto his disciples and unto the people. And it was this law that his disciples were commanded to teach unto the people after he was gone. And it is by the law of the gospel that Jesus taught that all the children of God are saved. Stop right there. That all the children of God are saved. The law of the gospel. Now let's precept this. Let's go to seal portion 58 and 81. Seal portion 58 and 81. This is still portion 58 and 81. Behold, the great and everlasting commandment, the law, the eternal law of happiness of the Father who created us all is this, that you love one another as you would have them love you. And on this one law commandment alone doeth all other commandments and law stand and there is none other commandment by which you must live yea this is the great standard of the Lord this is the embodiment of the words of Christ and the and the all compassing message that the Father has given to his children from the beginning. Stop right there. <clears throat> now you can precept this verse. Write this verse down. Still portion, the chapter Lehi, verse 9 through 51. Right there, right next to 83. And you read it on your own. Let's continue. Let's go back. Seal portion 18 and 22. And again, I say unto you, for this reason, 
Jesus, the Christ, is our Savior, in that he is the giver of this law. And there is nothing that Jesus can do for us that will save us in the kingdom of God, except do what? Except teach us this law, love one another. It's up to you, brothers and sisters. Once you repented of your sins, went to the straight gate, now it's up to you. Which, which are the commandments of God. And again, I say unto you that there are, was nothing that Jesus did for us when he was upon this earth that shall save us except give us the law of the gospel. For there was nothing more important than what he taught us, brothers and sisters. People want to focus on his death. But when you actually read the words of Christ and you follow those words, that will actually save you, brothers and sisters, after you go through the straight gate. 23. <clears throat> And there will be many in the later days that shall believe that by the blood of Christ we are saved. This is all your false prophets, your churches, your religions, all of them. This is what they believe. And that the blood of Christ has atoned for our sins. And that we must only believe in Christ and we will be saved in the kingdom of God. That's all you got to do is just believe. You ain't got to do nothing else. Just believe in him. And we will be saved in the kingdom of God. And in these beliefs, many do, many people do error and are being led away from the law of the gospel, love one another. Do unto others what you would want them do to you. And are taught the precepts of men. This is what's going on in your churches. Even in the, the Israelite community. And I say unto those of you who believe these things, yea, even as I have said unto you before, even in this record have I said these things unto you. You do not understand the scriptures and have not inquired of the Holy Spirit for an understanding of the atonement and what the Lord intends by this. You need to inquire of the Lord by the Holy Spirit. For the intent of the Lord was to make us one with God. That's the intent. This is what it's all about. Making you one with God. <clears throat> For the intent of the Lord was to make us one with God. Even he commanded us that we should be perfect as our father in heaven is perfect. And you can find that scripture in Matthew 5 and 48. Be ye perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. This is the intent. How do you become perfect? You love your neighbor as yourself. The following the law of the gospel. And you repent every day of your sins and you get baptized. Verse 25. And do ye think that you can become like unto our Father if you do not understand the things that the Father doeth? And the Father obeyeth the law of the gospel in all things. The what? And the Father obeyeth the law of the gospel in all things. He obeyeth it. Do you obey it? Does your church obey it? Does your Israelite camp obey it? And he has commanded his, his son, even Jesus, the Christ, to teach us this law, that we may 
we, that we might learn to live by it. And if we live by the, by the same law by which our father liveth, then we become one with him. How do you become one with him? When you love your neighbor as yourself. And then the atonement is fulfilled. The atonement that he did for us. That's how you fulfill it. Come on up out of here. Now. Let's continue brothers and sisters. Let's jump to seal portion 1842. Seal portion 18 and 42. And it reads, And why shall the Lord say un this unto them? Because they did not keep the law of the gospel. Let's go up another verse. Let's go to 41. And if there are any among you who think that you shall be saved in any other way, even that, even in that you believe that you need the ordinances and doctrines of a church, the commandments of men, <coughs> then you do not understand the plainness of my words and shall be one of those to whom the Lord saith will say, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. And why shall the Lord say this unto them? Now we're going to get the understanding. Because they did not keep the law of the gospel, loving your neighbor as yourself. Loving your neighbor as yourself. As he was commanded by the Father to give unto them. For the things which he shall command of them, this is the will of the Father. Let's continue. Behold, I have seen the last days, both in my own vision and also through the words of the brother of Jared, of which I am making an abridgment and writing to you at this time. And in those days, there are none. What? There are none. No, not one. Save it be a few only. Who are the humble followers of Christ. Who live by the law of this gospel. Loving your neighbor as yourself. There's only going to be a few. Now. Let's jump. Now we're going to go into the LDS church. See what they doing. Let's go. Let's jump to verse 47 now. Same chapter. 47. And because your church prospereth. This is the LDS church. Exceedingly. Yea. Even beyond any other church. That is built among, built up among the, the children of men. Yea, the people in the world. And the money that has come from this posterity. That should be going to the poor and the needy. The sick and the afflicted. And those that are in prison. Yea, ye use this money. To build up houses and worship which you go to on one day a week. Talking about their temples. And which are left empty for the rest of the week. When they could have been used to help the poor and the needy in their afflictions. Stop right there. 
And this is what's going on. They got that big old temple and they're not using it to shelter people. The, the, it's, it's left empty the rest of the week. But on Sunday, they go in there. Doesn't that sound familiar? Let's precept this. Let's precept this with seal portion 53 and 64. 53 and 64. And it reads, this is what was going on during the time of the Jews in Jerusalem. The Pharisees, judge not according to your traditions, which are the appearances of the work, but judge a righteous judgment of the purpose of the work. For man was not made for the Sabbath, but the Sabbath was made by man to satisfy his needs, to justify his wickedness of the rest of the week. For are there not seven days of the week? Yet, is it only on one day that you dedicate yourselves to God? And to whom do you dedicate yourselves? The other six days I say unto you That you dedicate the majority Of the week to the God That you serve Who is Satan Same thing This is what's going on This is what's going on right now With the LDS church Let's continue Verse 48 And if I could stop from condemning you before God that you might repent without searing your souls further with the heat of my words man the hammer's coming down I would but I but I have seen the great temples that you have caused to be constructed and these you have constructed to present the holy endowment that has been explained unto you herein. Now he's telling on you. And they are full of the fine things of the world, even so much that you have received much praise from the world because of them. And you enter into these temples and think that you are saviors of men, even that the endowment that you receive is necessary for your salvation. And even this is not the end of your pride and your abominations before the Lord. For you also believe that the works, that the work of your hands, even the work that you perform within these temples will save those who are dead baptizing for the dead which things is most abominable before God O oh my brethren you are those that shall suffer the most in the great and dreadful day of the Lord you shall listen to his words in that day and quickly realize that he did not command that these things be done among the children of men. You will realize that the only concern that has that he has for the world is that they live by the law of this gospel. Love one another. Do unto others what you would have them do unto you. Which law you do not teach in your churches and in your temples and those who belong to your church shall watch in horror as the Lord calleth his own servants from among those who do not belong to your church yea even those who do not have the priesthood that you think you have then what shall you say at that time of the works that you have accomplished. 
during the days of your probation. What shall you think when you are considered a thing of dos by the Lord and that he giveth no attention to the glory and greatness of your church? And why is it that you shall suffer more than those who are not of your church? Yea, why do you believe that the Lord will hold you accountable for more than he will hold the rest of those who have been deceived by the means of the miracles that Satan has caused to be wrought among you? I say unto you, that you shall be held more accountable because you have already two witnesses of the gospel of which I have spoken, even the words of Christ that he gave unto us, which is this gospel. And no other people on the earth will have these two testimonies which the Lord has given unto the children of men. And the Lord will use your pride and your arrogance against you. For in your pride and arrogance, you think you are better than the rest of your brothers and sisters in the world. And that you enjoy in happiness that you do not enjoy. And with this pride, you send our missionaries to take your message of pride throughout the world. 54. And you shall carry the record of my father with you and pretend that you believe in this record. And you shall testify unto the world that the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ is contained in this record. And in this, you testify correctly. You do what? You testify correctly. This is how we know we got the fullness. But by so testifying, you are securing your own damnation. For you testify of those things that you do not do. And though the Lord will have exceedingly great mercy for the sinner, he who shall condemn and punish the hypocrite. And these words which I write unto you at this time, even in the sealed part of the plates upon which my Father and I have written, and which I have been commanded to complete and hide in the earth to come forth in the own due time of the Lord. Even these things ye shall reject because they were not given unto you by the leaders of your church. The sealed portion, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Which have received the fine things of the world and the praise and honor of men. But these things shall condemn you and shall confirm confound your false doctrine and the traditions that you have allowed to creep into the foundation of the church that is called after the name of Jesus. For in the beginning, the foundation of your church was given in its purity in the beginning by Joseph Smith. And the Lord suffered it to be organized according to the power of the holy priesthood and under the direction of the Holy Spirit. But you reject it, but you shall reject the pure foundation that was given unto you by him who shall receive this record from the place wherein I shall hide it. And because of your wickedness, the world will reject you and, and shall the world shall reject you and shall murder him who has given these things unto you, Joseph Smith. This is what you did. You murdered him. Let's get the precept. Let's go to seal portion 82 and 56. 
82 and 56. Let's see the seal portion talent on you. 82 and 56. And it reads, And it shall come to pass that Joseph shall be murdered for the sake of this word, the two testimonies, and also because of the great wickedness of the members who belong to the church, which he shall cause to be set up among them, and he shall seal his testimony of the full of the truthfulness of his mission with his blood. Stop right there. There you go. There goes your precept to know who murdered Joseph Smith. Let's continue. Let's go back. Seal portion 18 and 58. But another like unto him shall the Lord raise up to bring the seal part of this record forth among you another person and he shall have power given unto him even the power of the Holy Spirit to confound you and preach repentance unto you and show you the wickedness of your ways and you shall become like unto the Jews at Jerusalem who were the murderers of the prophets of old and you shall call upon your secret combinations witchcraft which combinations you think are of God and which you think are righteous even like unto them of old yea you shall call upon these to murder this prophet the last prophet you shall call upon these to murder this prophet this is what's going on brothers and sisters the secret combinations. Somebody working for the LDS church to murder this last prophet. Holy Spirit already told us. Let's continue. Yea, you shall become like the Nephites at the time Samuel, the Lamanite, was called by the Lord to preach repentance unto them. For when Samuel went forth to speak the truth, concerning the wickedness of the church of God that was among them. They wanted to kill him and cast him away from them so that they might not hear his preaching. But, but, this is what's going on. But the Lord protected him, even that their bows and their arrows could not hit him. Thank you, Father. This is the protection of the Lord. Just because they don't want to hear this last prophet preach the word of God, they're going to try to use their secret combinations. And we already know that there's one or two amongst, among us. We already know. So this is a warning. From the most high God You may send people that look like us But we got the Holy Spirit We already know And the most high will protect This last prophet Verse 61 And he who shall bring forth The sealed portion of this record Shall flee unto the rest of the world For protection even unto those who are not of your church. And they shall protect him and give him sanctuary until he has done all that which he has been commanded him by the Lord. For it was the world that was responsible for the death of him that brought forth the portion of of this record that was unsealed, Joseph Smith. And it was the cause of the wickedness of the church of God 
that causes death. And now this same church shall seek the death of the prophet of God. Who shall bring these things forth unto you. And it shall be the world that open up its mouth and consume the flood of water that is issued forth from the mouth of the serpent that has control that has control of this church of which I have spoken. Now, let's precept this. Let's go to seal portion. 82, 82, I already read that, no hold that, let's continue brothers and sisters, let's stay in this chapter and now let's jump down to 68, for behold the prophet of God have been persecuted by the wicked ever since they were first called to bring the law of the gospel unto the children of men. Just, be, just, just, to, just by teaching, love one another as you would have people love you. And a true prophet of God is always persecuted and hated by the world. And this is the thing that I ask of you that belong to this great church in the later days. Listen up to this great, this, this is a message to this great church in the later days. Are your leaders hated by the world? Do those who have set themselves up as your prophets receive the affliction of the prophets of old? I say unto you that they do not and why do they not receive this persecution as a true prophet of God should? Because they are of the world and they seek the praise of the world more than they seek to teach unto you the law of the gospel. Love one another. Verse number 70. And in that day that you shall read my words, even in the day when the Lord shall give unto you, give, give unto the world the words of the brother of Jared, the seal portion, you shall see your leaders rise up and condemn this work. This is what they're doing right now. And they shall condemn this work because it testifies against them and brings to your attention the truth regarding their wickedness and abominations. And they shall say unto you, Behold, these things are not of the Lord. For the Lord would not give unto you anything, except he do so through the authority of the church, which is held in the authority of those who have been called of God to serve in his holy priesthood. <clears throat> And they shall speak unto you in kindness and smoothness and in the gentle nature that you have become accustomed to hearing their words. But in this same way did Benali entice and convince Cain by the smoothness of their words that he should reject the words of Abel and rise up and murder him and they shall teach unto you their precepts that justify the wickedness of your ways. And they shall justify unto you the needs of your churches and your temples and the fine things of the world. And they shall do that which has been done by all the leaders of religion that are not set up according to the principles of the law of the gospel of Christ. And now I, Moroni, have shown unto you the wickedness of, the, of some of those who profess to be the followers of Christ, but deny the power of Christ. 
which power can only come by keeping the commandments of his gospel, love one another. But the whole world lieth under sin and shall come under servitude, <clears throat> condemnation, except that the children of men should repent and turn their hearts towards the gospel that was given unto their fathers. And if they do not this, then the whole earth will be destroyed at his coming. It's time to repent. It's time to admit your ways. It's time to come to the gospel of Jesus Christ, the true gospel. Let's continue. <clears throat> Let's go to 78 now. And now I, Moroni, ask of you, what was the law of Moses with its statutes and judgments which the Lord has given unto Moses in the land of Hebron? Yea, even that law that was given unto him upon the mount. I say unto you, it was the law of the gospel. Love one another. Or the words of Christ Who was the giver of this law Let's jump to verse 80 And when Jesus came into the world He testified unto the people That he had come to fulfill the law Which Moses has given unto the children of Israel And he gave unto them The exact same law Love one another Or the ex Exact same gospel That he Has given unto Moses Before the rebellion Of the children of men uh, The children of Israel And this same law That he Gave unto the children To the Jews at Jerusalem And at And this same law Was given unto my fathers And this law was also given unto others who are not of the house of Israel, but who dwell upon the earth in other parts that were unknown at the time of my fathers. Yet he has received a commandment of the Father to give these people the law of the gospel also. Love one another. And this he did according to their language and their culture, and according to their understanding. And in the last days, the world shall have this gospel preached unto all peoples throughout the world, and it shall be carried unto all the ends of the world until all have heard it according to their own language and their own understanding. Stop right there. All praises to the Most High. This right here is what the Father wants us to preach. The law of his gospel. Telling people to repent of their wickedness. All these churches, repent of your wickedness. Now let's continue. Let's go. Let's go to... The same chapter, chapter 18. Let's jump to 34. 34. Let's go back. Let's jump to 34 now. We're going to read through to 41. For he shall come down in all of his glory, talking about Yeshua, and get up unto you once again his gospel when he comes back which is the same gospel that he gave unto the Jews and which you have written in the Bible and which proceeded forth from the mouth of the Jew and you shall also have these same words in the in the records of my father in that part of his of this gospel of this record that was not sealed 
the, the second stick and the first stick. Bible and the Book of Mormon. And then you shall once again hear these things from his own mouth. And then you shall have three testimonies of the word of God. The Bible, the Book of Mormon, and the seal portion. And then shall the law be fulfilled, which has been spoken by the Father, that in the words of three, I will establish all my words. Come on up out of here. But this is not all, for you shall have my words, which shall be given unto you in this part of this of the record of my father which has been sealed and this shall be the final testimony of the gospel of Jesus Christ and my words shall be plain and simple to understand and if and if after reading my words you shall do not you shall you still do not understand excuse me the meaning of these things, then you must remain until you hear them from the mouth of God himself. And if you, and if it so be that you do not understand and accept this gospel and live by the its precepts as it has been given unto you in all these testimonies, in all these testimonies, one, the Book of Mormon, the Bible, and the cell portion, that you shall receive, then when you hear it from the mouth of God, you shall hear it to your condemnation, because you have chosen even three times to discredit or disregard his words, and now, I write to you in plainness concerning these things. And these things I say unto all the world, for by the things that I say unto you in plainness, you shall be judged in the last days when the Lord cometh in his glory with his holy angels. Behold, all religions, all doctrines, all principles, all beliefs, all scriptures, all writings, all holy men, all holy prophets, all instructions, all institutions, all churches, all governments, all priesthoods, all laws, all ceilings, all ordinances, all sacrifices, all traditions, all customs, customs, yea, even everything that is done upon this earth among the children of men are of no effect and have no power out of this world. In other words, they mean nothing in the kingdom of God. And only the only thing that has any meaning in the kingdom of God is the law of the gospel, love one another. And the commandments that are given, that are given therein. Therefore, if there are any among you who hear these things and keep the law of the gospel, then this person is ready for the resurrection and the eternal kingdom of God. They are those who will not cause any contention in these kingdoms and shall live forever with those of their likeness in the world's that the Father has prepared for us. And if there are any among you who think that you shall be saved in any other way, even in that you believe that you need the ordinances and doctrines of a church, then you do not understand the plain whom the Lord will say, many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have 
cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquities. Because they got baptized, they did what they were supposed to do, but they did not love their neighbor as their self. Let me show this. Let's precept this. Let's go to Matthews 7. Let's go to Matthews in the sealed portion in the back. 722. Still portion, Matthew 722. And it reads, And the Son of Man shall come to judge each man according to to the way that he has treated his fellow men. And at that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and taught the people the things that they should do to be saved in thy name? And in thy name have not, have we not cast out devils? And in thy name have we not done many wonderful works that glorify thee? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, for I did not require any of these things at your hands. And the glory that you gave unto me was that glory that ye saw for yourselves. For there is but one God, and him only did I command that you should glorify by keeping his commandments. And this is, and this is, you should have done and left the other undone. Even that which I command you to do, you did not do. For behold, I commanded that you should love one another and that you should do unto one that which you would have done, have him do unto you. And of these things, you did none. Therefore, depart from me. Ye workers of iniquity. Come on up out of here. I want you also to write this other precept down. You can precept this with seal portion 73, 65 through 69. I got one more. Let's go to the Book of Mormon. And let's go to 3 Nephi, chapter 11 and 31. Behold, verily, verily, I say unto you, I will declare unto you my doctrine. And this is my doctrine. And it is the doctrine which the Father has given unto me. And I bear record of the Father, and the Father beareth record of me, and the Holy Ghost bear record of the Father and me. And I bear record that the Father commandeth all men everywhere to repent and believe in me. And whosoever believeth in me and is baptized, the same shall be saved. And they are they who shall inherit the kingdom of God. And whosoever believeth not in me and is not baptized shall be damned. Verily, verily, I say unto you that this is my doctrine and I bear record of it from the Father. And whosoever believeth in me believeth in the Father also. And unto him will the Father bear record of me. For he will visit them with fire and with the Holy Ghost. Stop white right there. Brothers and sisters, if you want to repent of your sins and be baptized, we got baptizers all over the earth. All you got to do is go to onenationonepower.com. I will put it in the, in the descriptions of this video. If you got any questions, my email will be in there. 
<clears throat> also. But you guys have a blessed day. Hope this lesson was edifying to you. I give all honor and glory to the Most High God, the great I am that I am, and his son, Jesus Christ, which his name is Yeshua in the Hebrew, and to the Holy Spirit. Shalom.